Hi, this is your boy Bears, and welcome to the Prime Review. So, yeah. What the fuck just happened? So, let me get this straight. The results today. What? Fucking what? That, that made no sense. I'll get to the Liverpool result in a minute. You know that's the one that I want to talk about, but let's talk about the other results. Let's see. Stoke beat Manchester United 2 0, and Van Hal said he could quit. I think you're going to be fired before that, Louis. Hey, yeah. You're not doing exactly well as Manchester United manager. Her. You're not doing better than Moyes, which isn't exactly good. Moyes actually got some wins under his belt. And actually got some goals. So yeah, two 0 win for Stoke on Manchester United. And to say that wasn't the biggest shock result of today would be an understatement because there were a lot of shock results. Well, considering in this seems to be the season of shock results. Aston Villa got a point against West Ham. Shock result. Old. I was expecting West Ham to boss it and win no problem. Even without pay it. it or pie it, however you pronounce it. Um, but yeah. They, they, can't, they couldn't get a win against bottom of the table Aston Villa. That's only Villa's seventh point. Um, right, uh, I think in Quest Ham need to sort their, or you know, what out. Because, you know, well, yes, pay it will be back soon. There's, they're saying they're hopeful well, he'll be back in time for the, uh, game against Liverpool on the 2nd of January. But, you know, you have another game between now and then. You cannot, uh, you have to, well, you can't you know, rely on one player. Because if without that player, it goes to rat shit. You have to have a good plan for if you don't have that player available where he's injured or where he's suspended or if he leaves. Like, look at Liverpool. We were so reliant on SAS and as soon as Suarez left, we were up shit creek without a paddle and we had no idea what to do. We're still trying to figure it out. Oh, believe it or not. We're still trying to figure it out. We don't really have a, a striker or who's taking the lead. Wait, I'll get to our striker problems in a minute. But yeah. West Ham, you can't rely on Payet. You can't say, oh, we don't have Payet. That's why we didn't beat e Villa. That's why we got these draws. Cause you, you can't use that as an excuse because... If that's the case, um, us not having Suarez anymore, that's why we're still struggling. You know, any team can do that. Anybody can do that. Hell, Arsenal could say, oh, we don't have Henri anymore. We, that's why we, yeah, had the result we did today. And I'll get to that in a minute. It's just, you know, you can't make excuses. It's just, you have to... You have to have a plan B. You have to have a plan B. And it's obvious West Ham have not figured out. Even in the time Pay got... Between when Pay got injured and he's still not back yet. It, they need to have a plan to win the game between now and the game against Liverpool. Because, you know, it's fine relying on a player when you have him available... But when he's not available, you cannot rely on a player who's not available. Like Manchester City, he can say, oh, the reason they lost to Liverpool is because they didn't have all their big name players available. Only Aguero was playing, and yeah, he scored. He scored a blinder, but Liverpool will dominate the defence. But that wasn't any... That wasn't because company wasn't there. That wasn't because Torre was not there. That's not because his, his, uh, Aguero wasn't fully fit. It was because Liverpool were generally better on the day. 
he, an AC fan who can't admit that is just blind and, or stupid, whichever or fits better. But yeah, at West Ham, you need a plan B. He, and, and trust me, I know, you need a plan B. You have to have a plan B because if plan A is fucked and you don't have a plan B, you're you're in the same boat as plan A. You're fucked. You, you, you're... You're like, okay, we have one option. If that's not going to work, if something happens to that option, yeah, we're pretty fucked. If West Ham wants to sustain their position in the Premier League and don't want to, you know, fall down the table, well, and I don't think they're going to fall down the table, but, you know, they're not going to get any, they're not going to progress as the West Ham mm, fans want. And, and as you can like tell if you watch someone like uh, Spencer Owen, and you can tell the West Ham fans are passionate about the club, uh, and they want to see the team progress and progress. That's why they're moving to a new stadium, leaving their their home for so long of the of the bowling ground or Upton Park, whichever you call it. They're now moving to the Olympic Stadium next season, and you know they want they see this as a chance to progress. But if the team isn't making progression, like having a plan in B, C, D, you have to have extra plans. And it is clear that West Ham do not have a backup plan. And for why Bill Payet is injured, they're like, right, let's just get through this period. And when Payet comes back, we'll be good again. And it's like, no. What happens if Payet leaves? Like, what if Payet fucks off and is like, yeah, I'm, I'm moving to another club? West Ham are like, oh. Shit. Hmm. Can we get in our pet? <laughs> that's that's not how it works. It's, it takes time to replace a really good player. Or, or like, it, again, I bring up Liverpool. We still haven't replaced Suarez. We may never replace Suarez. Is, you know, if you know, maybe we can help Divock Origi become a great striker. Or. We don't know. Hopefully, he. But you know, you, you have to have a plan B, and it's clear to me. He maybe I'm wrong. I, I just don't see where West Ham's plan B is. Is they don't really have a plan B. They don't have a plan B, while Plan A is sitting on the sideline, and they're just waiting for Plan A to come back into fruition. And like, like, yeah, Plan A. Hey. No, that's that's not how it works. Well, in any event, West Ham can look at the teams below them and then, like, eh, they're not going to bother us. It's depending on what team you're looking at. It's, it's, but some of the teams below West Ham, they shouldn't have any problems. And West Ham should, I'd say West Ham will finish in the top ten, no problems. But where they finish will will depend on whether they come up with a plan B. Because, you know, you can't rely... What if Pei comes back and he gets injured again? I'm I'm just saying, it's a possibility. It is a very likely possibility. Like, look at Daniel Sturridge. Again, I'm comparing it to a Liverpool example. That's the best I can come up with. I know Liverpool. I don't read any other examples from other teams. I only know Liverpool. I don't care about the other teams. I couldn't give a shit. But, like, look at Daniel Sturridge. It's when he is playing, we he are like, yeah, Daniel Sturridge, he'll bag us goals. And like we saw against Southampton, when he is playing, he will bag us goals. But, as of lately, how much has Sturridge played? Uh, has he played a full game in about three years? Not particularly, no. Oh, he's been injured the majority of that. Uh, yeah. And, um, you know, like, we're trying to have a plan B. He, it is clear that Jurgen Klopp is trying to implement a plan B because he doesn't have Daniel Star. Plan A. He doesn't have plan A. So he's like, right, this is plan B. Let's try and work on this. And that's what West Ham need. 
eat. And I know I'm going on about this. Let's. I'm going to stop talking about that now. It was a one-all draw. West Ham don't have a plan B. They need to sort that out. They can't just wait for Payet. Um, and our results, uh, Bournemouth, 0-0 with Crystal Palace. Um, standard result, really. You know, Probably what you'd expect. Um, both teams in relatively decent form. Both teams, you know, should be... No problems when it comes to the end of the season. I, I see them both staying up, personally. I don't think Bournemouth are going to have the problems that everyone is saying that they would at the start of the season. And Bournemouth have a really strong side, considering they came up from the championship. You know, they won the championship. You know, you have to have a strong side in the championship. With 24 teams, to, there's so much competition in the championship. It's so close. Was that you have to have a strong side to win it, and you know, form of some really good players. There's there for a side. You know, you look at them and you say, they're they've good players, but they're not primarily quality. Yeah, but those players, there's have never played. Most of those players have never played in the Premier League. You never know. Oh, I mean, like if if someone had told us all that Jamie Vardy would end up being the Premier League top goal scorer when Leicester were coming up, we'd all be like, <laughs> are you fucking mad? This this kid who a few seasons ago was playing non-league football. Oh, not a chance. And now look at it. Grant, yeah, he didn't do anything today, which I'll get into in a second. But, yeah, you never know. You can't write off a team just because of who they have and who they don't have. Um, but yeah, nil nil, standard. Now. A draw is probably the, the result. Probably the easiest result to predict in this kind of match. I would have predicted a draw on myself. Uh, I probably would have predicted a score draw if I did predictions, but I don't. Because they always go to ratchet. <laughs> That's a very bad idea. You never want to do prediction because you're 100% going to uh, fuck it up. <laughs> anyway, uh, Chelsea 2 all draw with, uh, with, with Watford. Um, back to the norm for Chelsea this season. Not winning. Uh, no one said it would be... A quick fix, and even the hell, they even said that on uh, Sky Sports that it wouldn't be a quick fix. Yeah, cause Chelsea's win a couple of days ago. You know, you can't really go on that because you have the players. They don't have the confidence. They don't have the confidence because their confidence was derailed when they stopped playing for Jose, and uh, now now they're just trying to get that confidence back. It's gonna take a while. Well, and you you know you just have to wonder can Chelsea hang on and and and, and get to the Premier League finish line not below that horrible red line hmm. you know if they keep getting points they won't go down but if they start if the if the confidence doesn't come back quick enough they might be in trouble. They might be in trouble. I'm just saying, might be in trouble. Chelsea aren't playing with confidence right now. Oh, well, it's clear to anyone who's who's watching them. They did look good um, the other the, a few days ago. Oh, oh, in their win, but today, you know, it seemed like the same hmm, hmm, problems were back again. I just, I was like. I'm watching Chelsea again from like a couple of weeks ago. Oh, and you know, two-two against Watford. Watford probably could win that match. No problems asked. It's you know, it does show strength that Chelsea got the draw. Um, that it was a draw. Uh, you know, Watford very strong as they showed against Liverpool the other day when they absolutely destroyed us. Uh, but yeah. 2-2, two, two. who solid point for Watford and uh, a stabilising point for Chelsea. And now we come to one of the shocks of the of today. Liverpool won, 
Lester Neal. I didn't say that and with sarcasm. That's actually the result. So, let me get this straight. We play terrible against Newcastle and Watford and lose to them. But we shut down the top goal scorer. We shut down his partner in crime in Mares. And we beat the top of the table team. Typical! Fucking typical! Why is this always how it works? God damn it, Liverpool! You're, uh, I'll be bald before I'm 21 if you kick this up. Stop doing that! Can you just win every game? Just do that every game. Hey, like, we, we were all over Leicester. We were all over Leicester. They weren't even in this match. They had, like, one shot, maybe. I can't even remember if they had a shot. Fardy was so quiet, they took him off. They took the top goal score off. That's how bad it was going for them. They're like, shit. Fordy isn't doing anything. Hang on, Morris can't get to him. Um. Um. Fuck, I didn't anticipate this. <laughs> but, and of all people, Christian Benteke, he, he probably, he fucking hurt me. I don't know how, but he fucking hurt. Or the, I was criticizing his ass. as because is he didn't show he wasn't good. He isn't good. I'm not, I'm not saying this is one-off. This is a one-off. Christian, you need to keep this up. Especially if Origi's injury is, is bad. Klopp said it isn't. It shouldn't be. He, I'm so hopeful that it isn't because we will be down to one fucking striker. Or if it is. One striker. And we will be stuck with our worst striker. Yes, he scored today's winner. But he is still our worst striker. How did we beat Leicester? I have no idea how that happened. I watched the whole game and I still don't believe that I, that, that scoreline was correct. I'm like, did I dream that? Am I dreaming right now? This is the dream review, who, ladies and gentlemen. And Liverpool beat Leicester. And mind blown. Normally you'd say, up. Oh, if this was last season, I'd be saying, yep. Yeah. Nice win. How? I'd be saying, if this was if this was this time last year, I'd be saying 1-0 against Leicester. Considering they were bottom of the table this time last year. And now they're top. It's two completely different things. It's mind-blowing. We beat Leicester. And then some other team, we gave them the... We opened the door for them, and they said, Nah, we're just going to close that door. But I'll get to them in a minute. At Manchester City, he, they, he proceeded through the door. They're still like, good luck with that. Lights. Um, we're going to go through the door and close the gap on Leicester. Beat Sunland 4-1. Raheem Sterling got a goal. Not impressed, mate. Still not worth 50 million. Still not worth it. Come back when you've scored 50 million goals. And then we'll talk about whether you're worth it or not. Um, But yeah. 4-1 against Sunland. Brini scored an arc consolation goal. Why not? That's at this point. Uh, Swansea 1-0 win over West Brom. Hmm, good win for Swansea. A uh, Trino win for Spurs. Spurs are happy. Yeah, out in fourth place. For now, we're chasing. We will fucking catch you, Spurs. We're on your tail. We've got the confidence. Maybe back. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we cut on against Sutherland. And then we'll, uh, we'll let you know then. Uh, Newcastle losing to Everton. Fucking typical, isn't it? They beat us in Spurs, and then they draw with um, Aston Villa, and they lose to Everton. Why not? Why the fuck not? 
And then we come to Arsenal losing 4-0 to Southampton. And I was like, I knew it. I knew Southampton would bounce back. I was saying it to myself. It was after that humiliation at the hands of Liverpool in the Carlin Cup, Southampton would absolutely smash some team as their way to bounce back from that. It was just a question of who would they smash? And Arsenal decided it'll be us because we don't want to go top today. Hey, Liverpool did all, all the work for us. Yes, we can't be asked. Arsenal fans are probably sitting around and going, why? <laughs> this was your chance and you fucked up. Up. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. I really do. Because I don't want City to win the league. Because it would be hilarious that S Sterling jumped ship and the ship fucking crashed into an iceberg. Oh, wow. Well. I did not mean that to sound like a Titanic joke. I'm so sorry. Um, crashed into a rock. Um, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna go down well, is it? Fuck. In any event, yeah, Southampton bounced back. Was surprised. Arsenal couldn't be fucking asked. They got a fucking smashing, and that's are still top of the table, because Arsenal couldn't be asked, and Arsenal fans are sitting around wondering, why aren't we top? And I'm sitting here wondering, why aren't Arsenal top? I mean, like, I knew Southampton would bounce back. It was just a question of who it would be against. And unfortunately for Arsenal, it was against E. So, yeah. Sum up. Liverpool beat Leicester. Chelsea, he drew. Van Gaal might get fired. And Arsenal fucked up, up royally. He. Thanks for watching the Premier. If you... Who makes sure to smash the like button button and hit the subscribe button as well for more content and I will be back to my hey, upload it's tomorrow or Monday hey I'm sorry I didn't get any videos up over the Christmas period it's a little, little bit hectic you know it's that time of year but we should be back to to our a regular scheduled business is by tomorrow. Oh, and uh, I should be uh, working on that transfer target video. The Liverpool transfer target video for the 2016 January transfer window. Oh, that should be up either Sunday or Monday. Hey, hey, so keep an eye out for that. And if you want me to do your club, I will. Oh, just let me know what club you want to see. Hey, what club do you think I should do other than Liverpool? I will be doing Liverpool, but if you want me to do a transfer target video for your team, like if you're Arsenal or you're Man United or Chelsea, I, I don't mind doing that if you guys want to see that, so let me know in the comment section below. And, and, and I will do those as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We beat Leicester and Arsenal fucked up. Well done. You dumbasses. Peace.